I watched this trailer about the Transformers. I'm sure you're aware of it. The movie, it is the age of extinction. So in this trailer, there's this uh, vehicle driving down the road and it looks like they're at the, in Arizona somewhere like near the petrified forest or something. I, I don't really know. So they're driving down the road and then all of a sudden, of course, the, the, the vehicle transforms into this giant front end of um, a semi truck. And then there's red and blue flames just kind of pop out and it, and it just is like totally transformed. It's completely different. And in this trailer, all the Transformer guys that um, were off to the side in another location, they're talking amongst themselves. And they're like, the humans want us to play by their rules, but the rules have changed. And so all of a sudden, the humans, there's like two or three people that were in this vehicle that turned into that semi, and they walk over. And then of course, all you hear is Ch -ch -ch, and the guy's just pointing his arm, which transformed into some sort of shooting device. <laughs> And the other guy looks at him and he's, he blocks his gun and he said, he said, what did he say? They risked their lives for me. We owe them. And it was so powerful and so dramatic. And I just wondered today, like, how many Christians would live their lives by saying something similar? Jesus Christ risked his life for me. I owe him. I want to talk to you today about transformation. Transformation that comes with the new birth from being born again out of this world and into the spirit of God, into the spirit realm. When we are saved, there is a transformational process that the Holy Spirit comes in and does in our lives. He makes us completely different. Are you completely different today? Is your life any different from the moment you first said yes to Christ? 2 Corinthians 517 says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed. Behold, the new has come. You know, I remember years ago, a very dear friend of mine who is still a very dear friend of mine today after 20 some years said to me, and this was when I was a brand new Christian. I was still getting drunk on Friday night, Saturday night, going to church on Sunday, hungover, smelling like booze. She said, Randy, the life you're living does not bring glory to Jesus Christ. And it gives Christians a bad name. And at that time, Coming out of the drug world, I was very sharp. I had a lot of sharp edges and I still have a few sharp edges, but not nearly as hardly any. But back then, oh man, though, I know you ain't talking to me. Like I just got so offensive and she just rubbed me the wrong way. And all I was thinking was, I don't know who she thinks she is. Who is she telling me how to live my life? Who she, what does she think she's God? And you know, all this negativity that I was carrying with me. But then later on, the Holy Spirit convicted my heart and he said, she's right. And the last thing you want to hear when you're a rebellious person is that the person that God has planted in your life to help you be transformed and to the likeness of Christ, the last thing you want to hear is they're right and you're wrong. But that's what he told me that day. 
I would ask you the same question today. Is the life you're living glorifying Jesus Christ? Are you living in unrepented sin and talking about Jesus and God all the time? I would tell you the same thing. If you're living in unrepented sin, you're not glorifying Jesus Christ with your life. Knock it off. And stop talking about God while you're living in sin. Stop talking about Jesus or, or anything Christianity-wise because it does give Christianity a bad name. And when Jesus Christ hung on the cross, was beaten for your sin, for my sin, he didn't do it so that we could live a life of compromise. He did it so we could live a life of purity because of the Holy Spirit's indwelling in us. The Holy Spirit gives us the power to live a uncompromised life. Listen to this. Psalm 139, 23 through 24. I hope you will pray this today. I have prayed this over the years. It is a bold undesirable prayer and it will transform you search me oh god and know my heart try me and know my thoughts see if there is any grievous way in me and lead me in the way everlasting that is a hard prayer to pray but i dare you to pray it today i dare you to allow holy spirit to examine your life so that the next time you start talking about Christianity or church or God and people look at your life, they're like, oh man, that person lives an uncompromised life. I want the God they're talking about. Because when you are living in sin and you're talking about God, people are like, what? This doesn't reconcile. That's not what Christianity is. And it doesn't draw people to him. It pulls people away from Christ. It makes them look at your life and think, that is, that's not the kind of Christ, like, I don't want that kind of life. I don't want to be a Christian. Hebrews 10, 26 says, For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. Jesus Christ hung on the cross for this as the sacrifice of your sin and mine. Remember I tell you week in and week out, the wages of sin is death. The payment for our sin, the sacrifice that has to be made is death. Blood has to be shed in order to pay the high price that Father God has caused sin to be equivalent to. And without Jesus, you'll never pay it. You'll spend eternity separated from God. But I want to give you the hope right now because I know this is a tough message to hear today. But I hope you hear my heart. I'm speaking the truth to you in love so that you don't stay the way you are. That you submit to the Holy Spirit and allow Him to transform you. Here's the hope. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sin. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God will forgive you. It doesn't matter what you've done. He will forgive you. But if you don't come to him at the end of yourself and lay down your pride and your ego and your arrogance, and every other negative, rebellious thing that you can think of that we have all experienced in one way or another. He cannot transform you. We have to yield to the Holy Spirit's work in us. We have to yield. Yield is a submission word that people don't like the word submit. They want to, I got this. I'll do my own thing. I know you ain't talking to me. Believe me, honey, I've been there. I have had that same bad attitude. And I'm so thankful that God puts people like my friend over 20 some years ago that spoke the same truth to me and I'm sharing her wisdom with you through God's word today. 
my friend, people are watching our lives as Christ followers. They want to see what's your, what is different about your life. What's your God about? Why do I need your God versus the way I'm living my life? Christianity is about laying down your life in surrender to Jesus Christ and taking up your cross every day. That means every day you choose, today I'm gonna follow Jesus means I'm gonna live an uncompromised life. And the only way you can do it is through the power that Jesus Christ gives you when he indwells you. If you don't know Jesus, he can't indwell you. He can't transform you. I want to give you an opportunity to know Jesus today, to surrender your heart to him today, because as much puffed up knowledge as there is in this world and the lies that are happening in the world, this world is passing away. And the only solid rock you can put your trust in is Jesus Christ because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you put your trust in him today, you can be born again. And when you are born again, you receive a new nature. God makes you a new creation. And by the power of his Holy Spirit, he transforms you. You're completely changed. Completely. People don't even recognize you. They'll say, oh, I remember you when you used to, I know back in the day you used to be all, but do you hear the words? It's past tense. It's not in the now because you're transformed into the likeness of Jesus Christ. So if you choose Jesus today, please let me know. I want to pray for you. You don't want to spend your life living in unrepented sin. If you are a follower of Christ and you're living a lukewarm lifestyle, and you know what that means, it means you're living in sin and you don't even care. Perhaps you're not saved because a transformed heart that is truly saved by Jesus Christ yields to his spirit. So I hope you choose Jesus today <clears throat> and I want to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos every week. Thank you, thank you for supporting this ministry. This nonprofit has grown and changed so much. And just really, I've seen God's hand in it. I'm so thankful for your, your support and your prayers. Share this video. Give someone hope of Jesus today. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, MeWe, and TikTok. And I will see you on my next video.